Hey yo together and very welcome to the Stuck of Two Crazy replays again on Coda Letter Edition and surprise surprise I was wrong I got this one and another TVC so here we are ah, spawning on the left top possession it's the red Zerg Darrow Weave Darrow Weave Darrow Weave Darrow Weave He's playing against me spawning in the right bottom position of Coda Letter Edition the blue Terran Elixir Woo hi Hi, Peru. So, yep, we got that TVC, then another TVC, then I guess two or three TVTs, and in the end there will be one or two TVPs. I guess two TVPs. Um, yeah. And after that, I'm done with Heart of the Swarm, probably forever. That's the end of an era. I should have done, I guess, uh, a goodbye stream for Heart of the Swarm, but. Now it's too late. Legacy is already out, and I'm not gonna play this game any longer. Sadly, I think I could, and I think I would get. Oh, already a mistake there with the supply depot. Look at that. That's not good. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, I would get the the timings and the build order still quite good, I, th I think. But then I watched that supply depot, and I'm like, nope, nope. Which is funny, the Legacy of the White currently, while I'm recording this, I have no real build orders or any plan how to play Legacy of the White. Still, I was able to get Master League again, so, yeah! Ah, maybe I will check out Automated Tournaments. The only thing I have, problem I have with that is Automated Tournaments affect the ranking system as well. So if you play Automated Tournaments, it's like you play 1v1 ranked games. It affects your statistics, so if you lose, you lose points, if you win, you get points for your ladder, and that is... I don't like that. It could... I mean, for some people it's nice, because then they have the tournament and the ladder combined to one thing. I just don't like it. But, hey, that's okay. Uh, Daryl taking hedge for pool, for gas, which is nice. Ooh, that drone is a bit too early, and he realizes it. And <laughs> then he sends it back. Nice! <laughs> that's why I love StarCraft 2. For some reason. That, that's one reason why I like it. It's those those random moments. When you realize a player and just thinking behind his uh, actions. That is really amusing sometimes. Ah, so for me the barracks producing a reaper. Probably two reaper because I'm getting the command center down there. And as a Zerg, I mean it doesn't help you anyhow because most of you won't play out of the swamp. Uh, ooh, the factory. Uh, if you see the command center being produced at the low ground, you can most likely assume that it is going to be two Reaper. Or maybe even three. Uh, because otherwise it would be too risky because of the circlings to go for the thing in the long run. Oh, close one. Nice save there. So, will he lose another? Oh, he loses the drone. Ooh, two kills on that Reaper. I would love to see what died. I guess a circling and a drone. Uh, yeah, considering the unit lost tab, that has to be it. And the Reaper gets away. Nice and safely. So, third command center behind that. Very nice. Uh, the timing not very crisp. Ten seconds too late. Ah, I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad. On for Darrow Eve, we have so far just droning up. Drone, drone, drone. Uh, if I would be a professional player, my Reaper would definitely be active right here. I would have checked the gas timing and then I could have known okay, speed takes now 60 seconds to be completed, so I can't harass until like 630 and I would be active here, active there, deny creep, be aggressive, try to s s kill drones be annoying with the reaper, macro behind it perfectly, bam bam bam, but as I'm not that good and I don't want to lose the reaper, they are just staying here and now they're moving out. And checking for the third base for any potential circlings, because that is what most uh, Serb used to do, is park one overlord here and some circlings here, like six or eight with speed 
And as soon as he sees, okay, the Hellions are moving out, wait 5 to 10 seconds and send them in. Bam! Free mules, free SCVs, be annoying as hell. And that is why I checked them um, after I learned some lessons. That's why I checked. Wait a second, that's not looking too good here. Oh, the jukes are real! Nice! Look at that! Oh my goodness, that, that! <laughs> Those jukes! Awesome! I like it! So now I see there is a third base. I don't know about the gas count. I don't know about the evil chamber as well. And there are some banes being made and some circlings as well. And uh oh! Not paying attention! And the banes come in and. Oh my god. You saw how bad my reaction was there? Duh! I could have killed everything there, but ooh, the banshee moving across the map. And there's a wall off. A weird wall off. But there's one. The problem is there are banes. Oh, 12 banelings. These morphing banelings. The Benji, I guess it saw something. Or it's just checking. And now I see the banes and I'm. Uh oh. Uh oh, I should evacuate. I should evacuate immediately. I definitely should. Definitely should. Oh no, don't. Ooh, he goes for the depot wall, which is nice. Uh, he's trying to go for the. Ah! <laughs> no! Youch! That was so expensive! Oh no! The supply depot is burning down! Will I be able to save it? No! It dies! Uh, eBay as well. It's not good! And behind that, he's getting the carapace upgrade. Really nice. He's droning a little bit, but still applying pressure. Uh, so he goes for another bus. I think that's not a smart choice. He dealt some damage. Uh, he should he should just drone up, go to layer tag, get the gases, go to mutilus. Uh, instead, he's still applying pressure, and I don't think that it is that this is working out too good for him. Uh, but maybe he smells blood in the water and wants to finish it. Could be the case here. On the other hand, that's very risky against the terror. Uh, there you go, there are no widow mines, which is a big mistake for me. Uh, the circlings, the wall gets broken. And yeah, there are a lot of marines here. Oh, he kills a lot of eco as well. The circlings killing some marines. Will they get the upper hand? Yes. It's very close, but in the end it gets killed. But he killed a lot more. 13 more SCVs. That's looking so bad. That's looking really bad. But hey, that's Starcraft 2. And he's droning now, still getting some circlings. Just to be safe, because his creep spread isn't the best. I wonder if he wants to bust again. That would be a really bad choice now, I think. Yeah, maybe not, maybe he won't. It's difficult to tell. I still don't have the third base set up. Oh. And I'm going for the banings again. But not too many banings are there yet. The Viking got one kill so far. Uh, I need to repair the wall. Uh oh, he might get through it just with circlings. Uh, it's close, but yes, he gets through it again. Uh oh. Those are a lot of circles, but also a lot of marines, and they have won one. Uh, but not Stim. Stim is not completed yet. They get some more SCV kills. Hmm. But yeah, how... Uh, overall, I have to say, it's not looking too good in, if I look at the unit last step, right? Behind that, he's finally getting inspired, taking 6th and 4th, 5th uh, and 6th scale. Uh, droning up a little more, uh, but his upgrades are... Yeah, 1-1 one, one soon against my 1-1, one, one, but I guess I could get 2-2, two, two. yeah, there we go. Finally! I'm trying to get a base. Maybe I should get that one. Because the distance for the command center uh, it takes a while. Let's let's put it that way. Still being supply kept like a noob, which is okay. This Banji 23 kills. There's one Viking with one kill, so I guess the Banji has uh, has the leading here, the same. Uh, the queen, there is no chance 
against one banshee, but four queens or three queens uh, do, and the viking gets killed. Oh, uh, I evacuate for now. Ah, he thinks I'm dropping, but I'm not currently. So, uh, oh, he loses a queen and some creep tumors. And the funny thing is now I am active, I am aggressive, so that means I'm most likely safe here. If I wouldn't be supply capped that badly, which I really am, which is really bad, then I could macro up myself quite nicely, but currently I'm not doing that. Ooh, is this a black spot? Uh, almost. Oh, he goes in, Widow Mines, getting some hits, not the best ones, but there's the drop, that was what I've waited for. And it takes a while for the units to come back, so I will get a Mutalist there. I killed some drones in return, 12, which is okay. It's okay, it's not massive, but it's okay. And, oh, this Medivac might die here. Maybe not, maybe it will, I don't know. Oh, there's another Medivac. Uh, the Mutalist should be able to kill them. Mm, he's not chasing them. Okay. Still supply capped. Oh, look at that. Wow, that supply cap. Woo! But I'm massively, so whatever. Oh, oh, the Widow Mines, the Widow Mines, the Widow Mines. Oh, 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 22 circling kills and 8 on that one. And now all he got left are Bailings, but without circlings, they are not that good. Oh, there was a Widow Mines. Oh, he cleared it. Good one. If that Widowman would have hit, then that could have turned the game completely, immediately. Uh, the splits are not too good. No, nope. not too good. Uh, they are okay, but could be better, of course. So the the main goal in splitting is to have one Bane Link hit only one million at a time. That would be the perfect split. Uh, possible for human, I guess. Oh, the Widow Mines dealing massive splash friendly fire there. Another Widow Mine here. He clears all of them very nicely. Mm, upgrade wise, 1 1 against 2 2. And that is a big issue. He's still just playing with one Evo Chamber, I guess. Oh, the Widow <laughs> That hurts. I love Widow Mines. I love them. Ah, oh, the splits. Very bad here. They're losing the Widow Mines for free as well. And the Medivac, I guess, too. Not very good. The bunker is empty, also quite bad. It's useless. Uh, empty bunker is quite useless. There. Uh, it doesn't protect anything. Uh, the splits are okay now. And uh, there are the Widow Mines coming. 2-2 two, two against 1-1 one, one still. And... Oh, the circling, the circling, circling. Uh, he's getting a spine crawler. He's so desperate. Look at the bank, but he has no gas. Even though, even though he's harvesting a lot of gas, he's not getting too much there. And I guess his injects are too bad because he's floating a lot of minerals. Uh, he got no macro edge. That's that's the issue, I guess. Here for Darui. Mm, here's the Widowman with a bailing. Also not that good. And he will be able to kill those guys. Plus two will finish right now for the third player. Uh, which is quite good, but he's losing the hatchery here, which means even less lava. So he can't spend, he can't spend even less money. Mm. Oh, one drop moving into the main base. The rest looks like it's going for the uh, third base. Mm, the Widow Mines dealing good damage here, uh, but there's not a whole lot, le a whole lot left. Just six marines and five medivacs. So. Almost every marine got a uh, personal healer. Uh, but he's taking massive damage in the main base. Oh! A lot of veins died there. He's still working on those marines, but there are the reinforcements. The Widow Mines are recharging soon. He needs to get out of there ASAP. Which he is doing. And. Ooh! I would say for Darui, if it's not looking too good. Uh, Bailings are moving in. Oh, oh, the Widow Mine! <laughs> 10 kills! 10 more kills! Going up to 21. And he tries to sneak by. Oh no! Ooh, massive splash damage. This uh, is his last army, which is not a lot. If you look at it 2 Mutalists, 10 Zerklings, 3 Queens. Against 
almost 30 marines, 7 medivacs. Should. Oh, I'm floating my main CC towards the fourth base. Because I want to be able to apply more pressure. I'm still heavily supply cap. Um, which is not good. I should produce some more depots. But I guess I can close the game out right here. The split should be better. Not too good splits. Not really good splits. But it's enough. I guess it is enough. Desperately he tries to hold on uh, the spine crawler, but it's not gonna happen. He will lose the fourth base here, the fifth base. And if that happens, he will most likely lose the game. 3-3 uh, three, three finishes as well now. Against 2-1. Oh, that's not really good. So the upgrades also helping out a lot here. And yeah, their reef a bit indecisive. In the early game, the first bust was really good behind that, he should have macroed up I guess. Instead tried both macroing and being aggressive. And that didn't work out too well, so... Yeah, punching your head against a brick wall... Most likely not gonna help you. And that's exactly what happened here. The Vitamines! Massive damage, no 4GG Stefano explosions. In the end, I guess I can win right here, right now. And you should see the GG zoom. Because there's nothing left for Derry dropping. Soon under 60 supply. He's morphing a last bunch of bailings here and you know, producing some circlings, but against 3 3 Marines, even though if he cleans that one. Ah uh, oh, friendly fire bit of mine. But that's that's not gonna help him at all. Uh, there's too much Alex Sasha everywhere. Too much of me, too many marines, too many medivacs, no mutalists at all. And uh, yes, he got the money, but he never spent it, and that's the main issue here for him, I guess. GG, and if that means GG, not, I don't know. Could be the case. And uh, yeah, that's it. One more TVC, if I'm not mistaken. Hope to see you next time as well, as always. I hope you enjoyed, and I wish you a very nice day. Have a nice day and goodbye, there we go.